I got a guitar after seeing a video of Elvis. The guitar had three strings on it and I carried it around and I practiced my moves and then I met a man named Roosevelt Twitty in a music store uh, when I was 11 years old and he was playing Lightning Hopkins style blues. Um, and I sat down and started listening to him and he said, do you like the blues? And I said, I don't know what the blues is. He said, this is it. And I said, well, I love the blues. And through the blues, I got into rock and roll and my you know, love for the guitar just kind of grew and grew. And I would sit in my room for hours and just play. And my, my mom would make me go outside. You know, all I wanted to do was sit there and play my guitar. Still to this day, that's all I want to do when I'm home. But yeah, the obsession just kind of keeps going. I got into guitar playing, I moved to New York City and I was a drummer and I was in an apartment and I couldn't play drums anymore in my apartment because that was too loud. So I just started uh, picking up the guitar and just kind of went down a rabbit hole and became obsessed and uh, basically played any free moment I had. I met Graham in a, a radio station in New York City and he had his guitar on his back and was introduced to me as the guy that was gonna put me out of a job. So uh, immediately, and uh, Caleb and I were like, oh, we, you know, we don't really like this guy. And then we hung out and then I got a call from uh, Joe Bonamassa. He, he was doing one of those Guitar Center King of the Blues things and they needed an extra judge and he said, would you come and just kind of judge someone canceled or something? And Graham was one of the finalists. And I heard him rocking and I was like, dude, you have to join the shakedown. Marshall's been incredibly supportive of us, and there's a legacy that we feel grateful to be a part of, you know, um, getting to align ourselves with a brand that has been alongside every great rock artist from, you know, Hendrix to Zach Wilde to Slash. You know, you have all these people who are, have been playing Marshall's for every, every, every band worth their salt, pretty much, has, has relied on the tone of these amps, yeah. you know? And especially in a world where so, so much has gone like digital. I think it's good to be loud and bombastic and put your setting on high, man, and make people listen to you. And that's what, that's what Marshall is about to me personally. 